Hi, hello, and welcome back everybody to my latest campaign of Baldur's Gate 3. Let's continue Tevyanka's journey, because we are almost at the end of Act 2. So, what were we doing last time? Uh, obviously, we defeated Ketrick at the top of the tower, and now we are hunting for him in the elitid colony. Right. And I believe we are super close to level 10. That's awesome. Alright. Can we unlock that power? Somehow. Through this uh, head. Let's see. That is my next, next question. Every day he comes. Every day for three days. To ask me how I feel. I want to tell, but... I am confused. Which... Which day is it? Hmm... I don't know which one is the correct. to phlegm all over Lord Gortes during my first performance, would it? Mm, acoustics are a little off in here. Which is... where, exactly? Well, an illiterate colony, but don't worry, you're... <laughs> just your brain is here. Right. A jester, are you? Ah, uh, you must be vying for the Lord's patronage, too. He heard me singing in Beggar's Rest. Said you needed someone to give voice to lost knowledge. A little over my head, being honest, but the Lord has gold. I trust he knows his business. Now, I best warm up. Yep. Go ahead. I have just the thing prepared. My ma used to sing it when I'd come crying about monsters. Oh, wish me luck. Right. Waking mind, maybe? Hmm. Fine bones, sharp jaw. Some variety of elf? Pretty enough for a flesh prison. If not, the noble Githzerai features. Oh, this I might be the one. The monk like Githzerai. Sibling race to your own Githyanki. The only beings your people hate more are the Elithids themselves. Oops. I'd guess you're no willing guest of the gate either. Perhaps we might aid one another. Um, how did you end up in that vault? Aren't you Zerai ultimate warriors? Warriors of the mind, cousin. A discipline unknown to your kind, and the very reason we were attacked. My order taught a psionic technique much feared by the Geek. They destroyed us for it, and kept me as a trophy. I never broke, but I've spent all these centuries awake, aware. So here is my offer. Use your tadpole, erase me, and I will pass my technique on to you. Sure. You want me to kill you, what if I can free you instead? My people dwell in Limbo, a realm of pure chaotic thought. With my mind gone, perhaps my soul will return there. Or perhaps not. Death, freedom, they are one and the same. Touch my mind and purge it. At the very moment you do, I will make my knowledge yours. Okay. Please disapprove. The awareness that floods you is nothing like the tadpole. It is tentative and tinged with the loneliness of eons. It fades beneath your touch. But you feel something left behind. A fragment. It is only knowledge yet, without comprehension. But when you use it, you will see. And I... I see. Alright. 
Is this steeped in bliss is sprawling because of this resonance stone? Gitzerai Mind Barrier. Having assimilated a splinter of Gitzerai knowledge, mental barriers have been erected in the affected entity's mind. It has advantage on instant intelligence saving throws. That's cool. Alright. Eye patch. An eye patch? Wonder who it belongs to. Long mole. Ah, we cannot equip that. Too bad. Can we throw these like explode or something? No, nope. it doesn't have HP. All right, let's get out of here. How much farther can I go? We need to go this way. So this is the wrong way. Let's turn around, run faster. Interesting pathing. Keep going. This should be the Fall by my hand. The correct route. A whole fleet of Nautiloids. How many true souls have passed through this place? Wait though, that's a toy for you. Very well. And I can use this restoration pod. Lovely. Hold on. Can I just do this? Sets. Okay. Assume nothing. All right. Can't slow down. Let's go. Time to destroy Catrick Thorn. Here we go. All right. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Let's end to this. Rest. Longer a background murmur, the presence in your mind builds to a roar. We found it. One of the, the coolest boss fights behind this door. Get three. Like I was prepared. You said it was under control. To fight he the Elder Brain. I didn't know about the Nether Brain part. But oh, the it was quite force. obvious that we had to face we salute? an Elder Brain. Salute, yes. With and also we know well I knew flesh. about chosen fights, obviously, How thanks to the trailers. With failure, but like I didn't freaking expect the, the miracle to show up. You forget yourself, or it was so cool when I first I've time played that my happened. part. 
You've built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose uh, all this sorcerer. time. But I know you what you mean. From her. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. Gortash the distractions has such a punchable yours, face. <laughs> Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <sighs> Handsome young man. I don't know. So you haven't lost your edge. Looks but like you're still a as sharp as Orin, Final Fantasy agent. character to me. <laughs> the Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Border's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in turn. Who is he going to use his armor, though? That's what I'm thinking about. The Edict of Bane! The Lash of Bane! of Merkel an elder brain one of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence enslaved by mere mortals there we are it wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest behold Duke Ravenguard the absolute whom preserve us you wag your word flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. Rip. Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. <laughs> it is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way. From head to toe, wow. Alice is getting lots of inspiration points. Moving ahead. Hello. There you are, as predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Why is the prism so important to you? The very fact of your being attests to its power. Despite your infection, you resisted the brain here in the heart of its domain. What good is an army of thralls if they do not obey their master? Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned. 
her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. Let's finish this. With pleasure. So long as Night Song's in that cage, Catherine can keep getting back up. All right. So we need to reach and help out Aelin in turn one. So. Victory awaits. Lazel, I want you to cast haste. No. Come I on, will cast. cast the idol. Can I twin cast my Gitjanki thingy? Oh my god, it's amazing. Jahira and Lazel. Alright. Let's give Catric Torm a hand. Oh, it's invisible. That is my turn. Scratch. Big boy jump. And dash. Oh, they placed the intellect devourers back there. I swear they used to spawn here. Okay. Hell sin. Don't know what to do with you yet. However, Jahira. You can not go up there, okay. Helsen. You can miss a step up there. And try the thunder wave. This mine flare down. Didn't work. Okay. Lazel. I want you to haste yourself and jump all the way up there and st start throwing. Can we kill them like this? Nope. You, you cannot fall there. Catch. All right, minus one. Always the same old song. Right, Jahira. I want you to jump up there. Cast armor. I got this. It's a warlock level too. The face got tricked horn. Ending to my turn. Okay, Jahira is down. Focus your attack, soldiers. Holy shit. Not cool. Get slapped. All right. Like Jahira had. 91 HP altogether. This is gone. Well, this is what happens when you crit on a smite. 
Hustle is dominated. Oh, calm down with the crits. Fireball. Saved again. Save against oh, this. Man. What is your DC? God damn. Alright, we need to take cover. Um fine. You no. Uh, I cannot rage yet. That's how we roll. Yo, mind flare, catch this. The gift. Protected. Halcyon is stunned. Damn, still alive. Scratch? You cannot help Halcyn, huh? But you might be able to help Aileen. Not on this turn, next turn. Not cool, Jahir is dead. Focus your attack, soldiers. Yeah, you're focusing on me now. Stop it, piece of shit. Die. There we go. Get away from me. Scratch, help Aileen right now. Lick her. Lick her good. Sin. Good job. I think. Jump up there. And face Kentrick. Lazel. Help me. Time to wait. Random bullshit, go. Nice. I'm going to level up after this fight. Nope. Come on, alien. We need you. Crit. Come on. One shot, Catrick. Or do that. Um, one D four. That's. Not that great. Chance. Wow, missed everything. Leave me alone. Oh, 
I come back to Hera. Lest I sit down for a rest and not rise again. That already happened. Alright. Skeleton threat eliminated. Lazel, let's get rid of this stupid interactive arm. And now we can focus on Ketrick. Holy water. <laughs> it's not going to hit. Alright, better than nothing. Scratch. Let's go. Ooh, nice. From the moonbeam. Nope. Where are you going? Facing me. now why we can I won't give in This Great. lightning jabber. Huh? You're going down. I wonder if this is what it cost. Is that one HP? Four. position and a miss at the end time to strike all right that's your last turn Catherine oh never mind <laughs> what a fool you are you cannot kill me yes we can I am eternal no you're not Merkel, Lord of Bones, I am here. I am ready. I am yours. You dare end one who belongs to me. I am the smile of the world cleansed. Bring it on. Phase two. Well, technically, phase three was the first one was at the top of the tower. Me. 
was going to comment now. By Sylvanus's mossy beard. Nice. <laughs> I'll get instantly a turn. Uh -oh. What do you mean they rolled a 20? Oh, 9 plus 11. Bend luck. <laughs> Finally, you hit. Ah, you pushed away from the others. Not cool. All right. I'm gonna hit Jahera. And I will use a potion since I'm out of the range. And probably stay here. I'll send you are frightened. I think you should focus on these. Gone. Cannot move, so hit the boss. Lovely crit. Lazel. Jump there. Actually, you can start throwing now. Everything that you have. My best interest. Everything deals damage, so we can just eat, eat everything. Ooh, that can help. I just need to make sure that I'm not going to hit the others. Right, and now you can jump there. And face the boss. Still standing. No matter what you heard. Heal up. You cannot jump up. All right. Let's buff. And attack. Focus on the ads. I mean, I don't have nothing. Take this. <laughs> yeah. Random bullshit go. I can rage on the next turn. Oh hell yeah. Let's go branding smite. God damn it. Alright, let's do it again. Second level divine smite. Again. 
We're killing this thing. Or alien, bro. This is your last turn. Nope. Ha! You missed! You missed with stage right and took the damage. My sword, my fealty. Do what you must, then we fly this foul place. Hell yeah. Let's get going. The chosen of mercy is dead, permanently this time. Yep. It's uh. Ketherick's Netherstone. It's in his armor. Take it. I will. Let me just, uh. Lose everything, okay? Then through. Oh, look at all this stuff. Brain. Laser, you got back your ammunition. Not Catrick. We'll leave Catrick for the final dead body. Yeah, I don't care about those. We fly at your word. Merkel's chosen is naught but a corpse. Let us see the other two suffer the same fate. Catrick Thorma's demise was the death blow against the Shadow Curse, also. We have done all that was asked about us. Thaniel will soon take care of the rest. Come. There is much to discuss. But we need not do it in this rotting place. Enough waiting. I crave your blood. Blackets will be done. Whatever it takes. Breathing, despite right. everything. Uh, we can level up in camp. So let's loot. What path lies before me. Catherine Tom's body. In death, the body is cooling. Energy radiates from the stone. But the first one. You did well. Really well. And now the picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw. Held here by those three against its will. 
The crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an elder brain, to subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. Well, what are these stones? The crown's marking suggests it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Catric transformed during the fight. What was that? I believe you fought and defeated an avatar of Merkel, the god of necromancy. A remarkable feat. Catherick was Merkel's chosen. I know Lord Enver Gortash, an arms dealer and a slaver. He is a worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me, but the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Which means the Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are chosen of the dead three. As always, what do we do now? We prepare for the fight of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an elder brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order, an order the Death God's Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. Okay. So we got this ladder. Camp clothing. Um, what is this? Supply camp. Catherick's shield. Catherick's warhammer. And Reaper's embrace. Now I'm encumbered. And he is shirtless. Right. Let's see. High patch, another stuff. Belong to. We know. Right, Warhammer. Who needs that? No one. This psychic damage, we can just sell this. Shield. Now suddenly it's only Halsing who has a shield. Um but this might be better. Spell attack rolls. That's all right. Also shield bunch and advantage on dexter saving throws. Cool. Now then, heavy armor. I mean. You can use it. Or Gale. But this is an upgrade.
That's for short dressed. Okay. That where's the rest of the items? Cool. Never a dull moment. Cool, cool, cool. Assume nothing. I've got a long road ahead. Let's leave this for a couple of seconds. Up, waiters. A curse lifted. The dead three allied once more. The balance shifts. Indeed. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? Well... Forget that. What are you doing here, Withers? Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally cold. I shall ask yet again. Do illithids possess souls? They are soulless. Correct. Yet, the three... Amass an illithid army, void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. Hmm. No. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness, Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The planes thus quake, and the gods shudder. All right. Like, like your mind wants you dead. How do you survive? Thaniel rests well. He's healing very rapidly now that Oliver has returned to him. I'm glad I could help. I knew I could put my faith in you. If only we had met sooner. What now? You've got what you wanted after all. I have. But perhaps there is more that I want. Anyway, once the curse is lifted, nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. This more that you want, what is it? Not what. Who. But all in due course. So, when will the curse actually be lifted? I can't say for certain, but we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. Don't worry. All is at hand. We can depart whenever you're ready. What happened to Oliver exactly? Did Taniel absorb him? No more than my right hand can absorb my left. Oliver is helping Thaniel to recover. They both lie dormant, like trees awaiting spring. Once the curse is lifted, they can stand as one or as a pair. Whatever they wish, I hope they will remain as a pair. It will be good for them both to have a friend once I'm gone. Still, I would like to return here someday. See Thaniel and Oliver again. In my meditations, or perhaps in person. If the Oak Father wills it. I hope he does. Okay. 
Lazel. The curse is broken and the shadows are lifting. In time, these lands will heal. Jahira. I would not linger in this land over long. But whatever your business, I will aid you if I can. Thanks. Now let me sit on this throne. Good. <laughs> Helm's blessings upon you. You're here. Good. That's good. I just killed an immortal. And that's all you have to say? Sorry, I didn't mean to snub you. <laughs> I'm just worried about the kids. Maul is still missing. And they haven't taken it too well. Of course, because they're dead. trying to cheer them up. We're writing a song together. I would figure out the children. They're, they're dead. Like I'm humoring you by having this conversation? Well, brainy breaches, I did have a better idea. A private concert. Just for the kids. Alas, you're no bard. I'm sure I'll find someone else to play with. Maybe in the city. Until then, all I can do is be here for them. But they're gone. They're dead. And laser can see invisible creatures, so... They're not here. Anyway. Back in last light. I was racking my brains. How the hells do we get past the curse? And then a blinding light cuts through the darkness like a blade through butter. All thanks to you, I hear. Didn't think we'd make it without the old L rider to lead us. But you did a damn fine job. I couldn't have it done without Jahira and the Harpers. You're too humble. But the best leaders know they're only as good as the people around them. Zevlor told me that. Turns out the people around him were better than him. Guess he got what was coming to him. Yeah, I killed him in... Good riddance. I wish things had ended differently for him. There are less mouths to feed, but we still need supplies for the road. We'll scavenge they what we They all think that Zevlor died, like, here. Hopefully. We'll see you again in the city. And they think that the children are still alive, so there are some problems over here on my part. It's all because I killed several myself, did the raid the grove, but protected the tiefling, but Asherak died, and I let Roland go away. So, yeah. What was it like in there? When Duke Elton formed the Flaming Fist, he sought out people of courage and honor to fill its ranks. You saved Daniel, lifted the curse, and killed an immortal. And lived to tell the tale. It's safe to say, you'd have been recruited in an instant. What about the flaming fists you've met here? What do you think of them? They are... different to what Duke Alton envisioned. And I can't comment on Duke Ravengard himself. But I've seen the respect he inspires in the flaming fist. And that tells me all I need about him as a leader. I hope you can save Duke Ravengard. For the good of Baldur's Gate. Uh, what about you? When this land fell to the curse, I should have gone with it. Thaniel is the only reason I survived. It's only fair I stay here and wait for him to awaken. And after Taniel awakens? I don't think there will be an after. The truth is, the shadow fell. Broke something inside me. Something no healer can fix. I don't know how long I have, but because of you, Thaniel is safe. Because of you, I could help him as he helped me. So, thank you, my friend. And know that I have no regrets. Good. Thanks for watching out for me. Helen! 
hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. But somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Ominous music in the background. Should be a happier one. Aelin. Aelin, this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. Yep. I have more to thank you for than I knew. He's dead until and campaign four. to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later. Um, it's a little crowded already. We'll make our visit brief. Cleric's honor. All right. Very good. We look forward to it. Now you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. Seems simple enough. Be gone. I must admire Isabel's fulsome beauty away from prying eyes. Sorry. All right. There's the trader. Hi. It's a grim task, picking provisions from the dead. Or the way I hear it, the fighting's not done yet. You need to resupply. Maybe. Now the question is, do I want to buy something from you, Quartermaster Telly? Because once I leave this area, you're gone. And all these items are gone as well. Do I need any of these? Definitely need uh, armor die. Late. From Jahira. Must be done. Larian needs to add more metallic boots to this game. Can't give up now. Alright, what now? One day I'll catch a break. It'll take time. 
but this tower stone will heal. Where's Wolbram? Moonrise has been cleansed. Boulder's Gate is next. Ooh, would you look at that? Open up. Not for communal youth. Oh, okay. About these. Wonder if the gods are watching me. I owe you an apology. Yes, you do. I'm listening. I saw you as a means to escape. Nothing more. But when the sky lit up, when I followed it here, I knew you were behind it. I apologize for not seeing your true worth and for being, quite frankly, rude in last light. I can be rude myself sometimes. <laughs> Gracious as well as impressive. A fine combination. And that's precisely why I want you by my side in Baldur's Gate. The Iron Hand gnomes are going to save the city. And you can be part of it. <laughs> Details. Now. The plan is what it's always been. To bring the work and innovations of the Iron Hand gnomes to every corner of the realm. Problem is, Baldur's Gate is sick. Once the pinnacle of greatness, it's eating itself alive to save itself from starving. Find me in the city. And once you see what it's become, you'll know that I and I alone can stop it. Okay, we're leaving. Suspicious sounds. I don't I have to, to worry about it. Again. We leave the heart of the absolute alive, thanks to you. Yes, I'm you amazing. You did well to defeat Ketherick, but Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. Enough lives has been lost. I don't want to send others to their deaths. And if they died, would their deaths not count? But they need not die, for they would have you. You have the makings of a leader. Your actions have already inspired those around you. Jahira's wisdom will be an asset to you on the journey ahead. Her harpers, too. Halsin's strength and loyalty will bolster you in times of need. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Yeah, we need others, but when I'm about to recruit Minsk, you are bitching about it. I'll think about it. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet. But its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen, all. Can't believe there are Mind Flayers targeting Baldur's Gate. We can't let them gain a foothold. We need to get back to the city before those monsters do. Baldur's Gate is my home. I have to protect it. Safe return to the city. We'll see you there, Helmwilling. Yep. Let's go. Whatever awaits us on the road ahead, we can at least be proud that the Shadow Curse is no more. Indeed. The Absolute armies are on the march. And Baldur's Gate is their target. But we can also use this time to level up these four characters. Starting with my character, Tevyanki. She's now level 10 Wild Magic Sorcerer. Gained a new cantrip. 
Let's go with Acid Splash. Spells. Dominant person. Class passive. Heightened spell. Replace something. I think we're good. So that was simple. Next is Lazel. Level 10 Wild Magic Barbarian. She gets unstable backlash. While enraged, when you take damage or fail saving throw, you trigger another wild magic effect that replaces the current one. Oh boy, that's going to be fun. Jahira. Level 10. Now I can choose. Level 6 Paladin or level 5 Warlock. But I think I'm going for level 5 Warlock, obviously. Because we get Deep Impact. We can use extra attacks. So I think now you can attack 3 times per turn. Normally this shouldn't stack with extra attack from other classes, but I'm not sure if they... If Larian fix this. Right, a new spell at level 3. I mean, counter spell on a paladin. Right, new Eldritch Invocation. Meyer the Mind, Sign of Ill Omen, Armor of Shadows, Beast Speech. One bit shadows. Vanish into the darkness and become invisible as long as you stand still. Invisibility ends early if you move, attack, cast another spell, take an action, or take damage. We can replace Warlock spell. I think that's alright. Last but not least, Halcyn, the level 10 Hunter Ranger. What is this? Hide in blade sight. Perfect. Camouflage yourself with your environment to become invisible and gain plus 10 bonus to stealth checks as long as you stand still. Invisibility ends, blah 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 blah. Okay. New favored enemy. Do you want Arcana or Religion or History? Let's go with Ranger Knight. We don't have to use Heavy Armor. But we have the... Well, we can use it if we want to. Natural Explorer. Boom. Oh, better yet. Urban Tracker. Sleight of hand. And I can also replace something, but we're good. So. Acid Splash is our new cantrip. Dominant person. There we go. Lazel. Nothing. The work is never done. Jahira, you got something. Area must be lightly or heavily obscured. But you can use this anytime. Which is cool. Nelson. 
this is technically the same except you can use it anywhere call and I answer fun still alive so that's progress yep it's quick save and venture forth to Baldur's Gate you're about to progress your adventure. Once you move on, you may not be able to return. Make sure to tie up any loose ends before advancing. Alright, here is the campsite. At the ready. Now we can talk with the others. Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. Mizora said you can say what led to your pact and exile. It's time I know the whole truth. Uh... I wouldn't give up my soul if that's what you're getting at. It is. And I did. I was 17. Father, Older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elterel to help settle a dispute. That's when the cult of the dragon made its move. Never heard of them. A religion devoted to conjuring the most evil of goddesses, the Dragon Tiamat. A ten day after father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the queen of chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. Well... In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. The first of Tiamat's five heads. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it. She whispers. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. You took on 25 cultists on your own. I found that hard to believe. I had Mazora at my side, and the Archdevil Zariel guided our hands that day. I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. Ah, is that how you lost your eye? It is. The one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world or the depths of the lower dark and still never shake her. Surely Mizora doesn't care about Baldur's Gate. Why would she want to save it? She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zarya. Tiamat made a play for power. We seriously need an Zarya DLC. had other plans. That was the most Mizora's ever said. There. All that mattered Save was Karlak. that she got her prize. Destroy Mizora, destroy Zarya. And maybe even find Bing Bong. 
<laughs> the imp from the D and D. The cast was playing that. Uh, it was brave what you did for the city. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. And what about your father, the Grand Duke? He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazura had swept it clean. I showed him my stone eye, but he only turned away. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. Okay. I understand. Why are you standing like that? <laughs> the absolute school has Raven Guard. Where will they take him? Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's army's on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. What do you know about Gortash and Orin? Orin? I'd never heard tell of. But Gortash I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. Well, you must be furious at your father for throwing you out of the city. No, never. He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best, a traitor at worst, and Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither. Do you miss your father? More than you know. The better question is, did he ever miss me? If he did, he missed the Will Ravenguard he once knew. Not the hell-touched warlock he returned to. All right. Make some room and I'm... Down with one companion. Next is Shadowheart. The shadows are losing their grip on these lands. Shah can indeed be thwarted. Comforting to know. You wanted something? There's some matters I wanted to discuss. I'm sorry. Okay. Gail? I think we've done rather a good thing here. A welcome change to give this land a sliver of hope amongst so much despair. Starion? I never saw myself as a banisher of shadows before. <laughs> I was always more of a lurker in, historically. What do you intend to do about Kazada's ritual? Before anything else, I need to know where it's happening. Uh, to the public, Kazador is an ordinary noble. A little reclusive, perhaps, but just another of the great and the good of Baldur's Gate. He has a grand palace on the hills of the gate, where he hosts the city's high society. I don't know if he performed the ritual there. It feels too public. He'd risk exposure. Well, we should ask around once in the city. Maybe someone's heard something. Actually, no. Raphael's playing a danger dangerous game giving you Mephistopheles secrets. Mephistopheles is one of the Lords of the Nine Hells. Raphael is not going to let any ire be tracked back to him. Perhaps Raphael even will gain from setting us on this course, who can say? All I know is I need to unravel the secrets around Cazador's ritual. And I can only do that in Baldur's Gate. Hello, my dear. 
I wanted to ask about Kazuto's ritual. You must be thinking about it. The thing that will decide my fate forevermore. Yep. Yes, it's been on my mind. Why? Do you think we can stop it? Well, in theory, it's simple. Destroy Kazador, stop ritual. That's assuming we want to stop the ritual. What? I've obviously thought about it. If I was the one who completed the ritual, I'd have such power. And I could walk in the sun without fear I'd turn into a mind flare. Well, naturally, who wouldn't be tempted? Of course, I don't even know if I could complete the ritual. It may be impossible, but it certainly is tempting. All right. Next. Lazel. Speak your mind. I'm lit. Nothing, okay. Never wanted the easy path. Jahira, anything else to share? I would not linger in this land over long, but whatever your business, I will aid you if I can. Leave. Fate, dost thou require a new. Nope. We're good. So now we just need to talk with uh, Alcin and Aelin and Isabel. And Taniel. You did it. Catherick Thorm is no more. The shadow's grip is broken. Soon, the land shall heal. My work here is done, I think. It is. But mine is just beginning again. Soon, this will be a place of sunlight and greenery again. With birdsong honoring your triumph, nature moves at its own pace and bestows its bounty when it sees fit. Give it time. A reward shall come to you. When you need it most. I swear, I can already feel a change in the air. Like the curse itself knows its time is short. I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here. And my father. I heard what happened. What he become by killing him. You set him free. You set Aelin free. And me. Well, I feel there's a great deal you haven't told me. Not on purpose. Or not with the intent to deceive. I've been trying to make sense of it all. Catherick Thorm is... was... my father. He raised me. To serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. Tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? No, but it sounds like you do. Guilty. The moment I looked at Aelin, I just knew I had to be with her. I was hers. That was it. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And... This is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how, why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. 
I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. Did he shout boo? You jest. <laughs> Yet he did seem a ghost to me. A, a shadow of the father I loved. He resurrected me with magic so foul I nearly wretched just thinking of it. I didn't know that then, but I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now, said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak, could only run. I found last light within the shadows, made a shelter there, prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land, and my home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them. And myself. No matter what. So you lied about who you were. I did. Who would trust the next of kin of Catherick Thorm? But I have no more secrets. It's all out in the open now. And with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing. Rest. I'm grateful for your help. Your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long. But I'm grateful for a safe place to... Well... Just to be. Where's Shadowheart? I think she'll want a word. Oh boy. In that case... I think I should carry the scrolls myself. Jahira, hey, I want you gone for a bit, right? I would not linger in this land. Of You're sure? Yes. Later then. I tell you not to get in trouble, but I suspect it will find you whether you like it or not. Well, I need to invite everyone and level everyone up. It's going to be fun, starting with Will. The shadows are lifted. Finally, we can breathe free. That's the... The pride Spirit. of the gate. That's the pride of the gate. <laughs> Alright, Will, level 10. Monk, level 7. Or, Rogue, level 4. But I think I'm gonna roll with 7. As Monk. Extra key points, evasion, and stillness of mind. Boom. Cool. Checking things out. Uh, we can check out the gear. Maybe you have something better. Into the fray. Let's see. What do we have here? So, you can wear light armor or cloth. Cloth is recommended. Uh, it's okay. Armor is perfect. Gloves are right. And that's also good. Shadow blade, that's okay. That's okay. Additional 1 6 poison damage, I'm not sure about that. Let me double check the necklaces. Oh, wait, you're a monk, you should carry this. Obviously. 
so. You can also use this restoration once per long rest. And shatter once per short rest. Nice. As for the weapons. That's okay. Quite cool. All right, that's your next look. Now, time to press ahead. That's Always a pleasure. Level up, Astarian. Are you sure? And what can I do for you, my friend? Join me. Watch your back. Level up, Astarian is now a level ten fighter. S new subclass feature: the size of your superiority dice increases to one d ten. Two maneuvers. Hmm. Trip attack as for sure. And maybe repost. There we go. Let's be quick. Because the Rivington awaits. Um, let's see, your gear. You want to scale mail, it's awesome. Chorus gloves, awesome. Misty step. If you take melee damage, they take acid damage. That's perfect with these gloves, and you have the ring that deals acid damage. Cool. Cool and cool. What we can actually change is Well we can keep the ring on you. And you have the guidance necklace. <laughs> Funny. Let's change that. Yeah, probably this one. You can use your bite attack or you can use second wind to heal yourself then you gain poison on your weapon. This is your selfish aid. Okay. I have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. That is your new camp clothing. Enjoy. 
Yeah. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Hello, my dear. <laughs> it's out. Goodbye. Next is Gail. Go ahead. we Level up. Level 10. Tempest Cleric of Mistra. Extra spell slot. Divine Intervention. Extra cantrip. Light. Now we can prepare Flame Strike. Fast. What's on your mind? I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. Hold on. The air is ripe with magic. What about your gear? Mr. Full Plate. I think that's alright. We shall see. What's on your mind? I, I'll be. Shadowheart, please follow me. You wanted something? Join me. Of course. Also leveled up. Not yet. Now you can level up. Level 10 wizard. Third eye dark vision. Third eye seam visibility. Amazing. Extra cantrip. Let's go with... Poison spray. Two new spells to learn. Cloud kill and planner binding. I don't know. These are more expensive to learn. You know what? Let's go with seeming. I don't think I'm ever gonna use it. Okay, these are ones with long rest. Let's look for better gear. But we don't have better gear. 
It's all right. What to do? Let's go, Shadowheart. We need to talk with uh, Aelin. My face protects me. I think you only need to be in a party. For this, that's also a quick save. What do you know about me? You spoke of my past. Being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shah's... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others. Someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Your mind joins with Shadow Hearts. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. Something sparks in your memory. Teachings about Salunite rites of passage, about how they would abandon their children out in the wilds and force them to find their way home. It seems that one child never came back. She was taken. What? Who was that man? You already know. Did you not see yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young. Impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents... I need to save them. Does this mean you're a Silent Knight? I... I don't know. Your parents both followed the Moon Maiden. I could sense their faith, even in a brief glimpse of the past. It is a tragedy that the Moon Maiden's right was perverted by Shah. Your future was stolen from you. Getting your parents back sounds dangerous. That is for Shadowheart to decide. You may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. Isn't that thing supposed to be able to kill you? It no longer has the power to harm me, now that I've removed it from Shah's domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. 
Take it. You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. <sighs> it hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. There you are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. Stay back, ready to defend yourself. Oh, <laughs> surely you cannot fear me. You who have fought beside me in the war against damned Ketheric Thorm. What is it? Feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Ketheric Thorm, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. My mate, Most High. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the Slayer of the Wicked One. Where's the silver light? The moon magic? Listen to the subtle vibrations of the <laughs> moon maiden thumping within your heart chambers, friend. She works her magic there. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. How do you intend to spend your newfound freedom? I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. There's still a great deal about you I don't know. Pray, ask, and I will tell. Oh. Well, are you really Saloon's daughter? Do I not radiate with my mother's brightness, her glory? There can be no doubt. I am of her silvered flesh, her celestial womb. Would your mother be willing to aid us in the fight against the dead three? Or dead two? Or Why, she already has. She has brought her sword to your side, Dame Aelin. So mighty are her wonders, her great wisdom. Together, we will set this fair land free of tyranny and murder. Okay. Saloon Spear of Night. That's going to Shadowheart for sure. She can use spears. Well, you need strength for attack rolls, but that's all right. Because you have Moonbeam and Moon Mode as an action. And gain advantage on wisdom saving throws and perception checks. Also, the Arc Vision, which is useless, but you already have uh, this. And as a half elf, you have that already. Oh, never mind, this is superior Dark Vision. Holy oh, shit. Okay. Well. Moon mode? Moon beam. You have nothing over here? Okay. Breathe deep and move. Anything else to say? I swear, I can already feel a change in the air. Like the curse itself knows its time is short. Great. Shadowheart was no true child of Shah, merely a captive. She must have her vengeance.
She will. I would not linger in this land over long, but whatever your business, Let's talk with the others one more time. Then we can head out. Taken from the light to be raised in darkness. This is usually Your one of the longest. Is finally the dawning, Shadowheart. Episode you can follow its light in my campaigns. Whenever I you can retreat back into finish dusk. Act two. The truth is finally So many dawning. dialogue. Shadowheart can follow its light. But I'm willing to listen to everything. She can retreat back into I may dusk. comment less and less in each campaign. But hey. So, it's a quest to free Shadowheart's parents, is it? And here I was, worried I'd be the only one with a difficult family reunion waiting in the city. At least Shadowheart is armed with the truth now. May its keen edge draw forth whatever vengeance she desires. All right. Shadow Art, anything else to say? All's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. Fine. What's on your mind? Mm. How are you holding up? Don't be so modest. I can't remember the last time I met someone like you. All right. Um. Do I want to keep Shadow Art in the party? I think. I wasn't if you should fine. I think no. I think it's time to return. What's on your mind? Where I think yeah, we need we need Gail. A long way from Waterdeep. We need some cleric shenanigans. <laughs> also with spells like these. Damn. On my way. Love it. Now let's end the day. Adventure fourth towards Act Three. We are almost there. Sure, that potion was worth it. What potion? Excuse me. Blood draw sickness. Nothing is ever free. Until the next long rest, the affected entity has a minus one to all dice rolls. Excuse me. I never got this one before. Are we ready to depart? Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm honest. It's been a long century. Speak. Um, what do I need to press? Leaf camp? Oh, no, 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 not Shadow Heart. Sup? You'll have to look elsewhere for company. I already have an arrangement. What do you mean? You'll have to look elsewhere for company. I already have an arrangement. Fine. The curse has been lifted, the lands cleansed of the shadows. Cethric's reign of living death is over. Your courage has been tested, and in this at least, you have triumphed. And off we go to Act 3. Actually, no. There's one more location left. But first, the cutscene with Gortash and Orin.
And don't forget, I am about to venture forward to Act 3. I'm not sure if that is proper English, whatever. <laughs> so soon, I need to change the look of my character. Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Wern's Rock is secure. And preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to peel you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you, I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh. But tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again. We have arrived. Again. No, oh, it's Gale this time. It's usually Shadow Art. Well, well, well. Guess who is one sleep away from the city? <laughs> Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence. One sleep away. Ah, Baldur's Gate. Ah, what's missing? Allison. With haste. Look at this. So cool. Wow. So cool. All right. Maybe we shouldn't uh, take unnecessary damage. Before everything goes wrong. Reload. Three more work in my pack. 
Shadowheart has found a little bit of herself again. Soluna cannot take all of the credit. She may have lit the way, but it is the cleric who took this step. Now we're traveling together, I realize I don't know much about you. That speaks well of your taste. I've heard my share of bad ballads about things I never did. If you have questions, ask. Just don't expect my answers to rhyme. You mentioned you know something of Illithids. More than I would like. In my youth, I was a brief and very much unwilling member of a colony's hive mind. I felt the way they think, saw the world as they do. Foul, unnatural creatures who find the foulness in us and twist it to their will. But then, who am I speaking to? You have far more experience than I. Well... My mind is still my own, and I plan to keep it that way. I believe you. You remind me of another I knew, marked by forces beyond their control. The gods can grant power or strip it away, but so long as your will remains, you have the only weapon you need. Ask it. Is it true that you fought the dead tree before? It was Baal alone we faced in our time. And bad as that was, he had no elder brain for a lapdog then. Help won't come from the history books or from any old tales I can spin you. This is your story to write. <laughs> there. Have I fulfilled my role as your wise and wizened elder? <laughs> You are not that old, are you? I've passed enough years that counting them is a waste of what remains. Which is to say, yes, I am that old. Okay. Next. Oh, we're gonna fight here soon. As the freaking monks. Well met. Good. How can I? I'm listening. <laughs> I've been lied to my whole life. And I was gullible enough to just believe it. My parents are alive, and I have to save them. I think a part of me always knew that. A part that Shah denied to me. You have a lot of new mind, but we have to stay focused. The Absolute is still a threat. I know. One crisis at a time, eh? Still. I must see this done when the moment arises. We'd better press on for now, and hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. Do whatever you need to. You will see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. Incoming blonde, Shadowheart. We don't need to use the mirror yet. Painful truths have been thrust upon Shadowheart. I believe she is Only strong once enough I'm done to endure. With the sequence. But her path will be easier with our support. Gail? The Absolute should be a thing of the past, and I with it. Yet, at the risk of angering Mistra further, I'm glad it didn't come to that, given what has come to light. You don't miss the Shadow Curse Lands then? Hardly. I'm more than glad to leave that place behind. The Elder Brain. But more importantly, the crown that it wore. 
Even without seeing it for myself, I could sense it. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete. I doubted what I was feeling at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power. The ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but... No matter. It exists. I must learn more of it. You nearly killed yourself back there. Perhaps take a moment? I know what nearly happened. And I'm sorry for putting you in that position. But I've stepped back from the precipice now. I've seen what may prove to be another way. A better way. That crown sits on a gargantuan elder brain bent on destroying us and everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature might unlock the means of our victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, we'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep, Sorceress Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. Let's just get to Baldur's Gate first of all. Ah, indeed. The journey awaits. One foot in front of the other is tried and true, I find. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. <laughs> Nethery sex are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. All right. The gate is closed. As is Casador. Casador and his right of profane ascension. An imperious soiree, attended by devils and spawn alike. A grand ceremony to honor one exalted vampiric master. <laughs> and elevate him to an unfathomable station. To place him in a position of such esteem. The world will yearn to kneel. And offer their necks. We need to stop him yesterday? We will kill him. But there's more to it. Think about it. It sounds what do like you mean Casador, for all his evils, has gotten Tomorrow. further than any of my kind ever have. He's on the verge of a miracle. If the time comes and I can stay one move ahead of him, I'll take his place before his blood can hit the floor. I don't know. Raphael said the ascension was literally diabolical. <laughs> Doesn't it sound delightful? For the lucky little vampire on the winning side. After 200 years of shit, pure shit, <laughs> I think I deserve something better. I gotta love his voice actor. Well, freedom is not the same as power. All I'm saying is, let's be clever about it. If an opportunity arises for me to become a more magnificent bastard than I already am, why turn it down? Let's find out more about the ritual before we waltz into Casador's front door. If we track down my old comrades, the other spawn, we may discover more and be finely positioned for yours truly to ascend. Well, the information will be useful. We'll find the other spawn. If we don't find my brethren, they'll find us. Likely with bared fangs. We should get to them first. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Unless Casadors change their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. Oh. Something good here, I hope. 
Be gone, friend. I have a darling to adore. Should join my camp permanently. We can fight the powers of evil together. Our thoughts are as one, my friend. You must face the Chosen of Bane and Baal. I will do my part to see them laid low. Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm on. All right, time to end the day. Scratch. Good boy. All right, gotta go. Gotta go. Because there's a fight ahead of us. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of Mind Flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the Astral Prison and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? I will free everyone of this evil. I will be... I will be the one to cleanse this plane of the Absolute, the Tianqi option. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Sleep is for the weak. Friends, question mark. Fight your way to the portal. I need your help. Okay, let's do that. Lazel. Attack. In my best interest. My path be true. Good start. Survival is all that matters. My turn. Wind spell. Blight. Oh, this is too far. No. All right. Hmm. Oh, I cannot think of acid splash. Fine. Let's see. Scrolls. Scroll of anything. Yeah, I would like to select the variant. I won't be able to do that. Here we go. Zero. Oh, because of evasion. Oh, shit. Damn. It's 
Stop it. Halson. Please. Destroy this monk. Cut them. Guys are no joke. Hmm. Take this. That's right. Learn your brace. One down. Without you. Don't worry, we got this. Look at the damage. Taking position. Wasn't enough. Time to push my luck again. Double kill. Stand in my way. this right you get away maximum damage don't care with ease more are coming hurry or we will all become thralls Become thralls. Ow. Where do I go from here? easy these days more experience oh, so much for peace that was uh, interesting <laughs> wait this is the last round that's a problem Problem. 
There we go. Under attack. All right, let's do this. Eager for battle. Let's fight. Oh boy. Come on. We want to fall off or what? Uh, we don't have bonus action. Zero damage from deflect missiles. Lazel. I think it's time. Oh, it's not time. Like this and this. Right, let's twin bone shield. Critical miss on one of them. Come on, brains. I think freaking get Yankee. Gail. of the phoenix uh oh uh oh please help me one hp on gale holy shit right, listen up we're done with this nonsense come on Push them down, but we don't want that. Stay away. Rest in peace. No time to waste. Never a dull moment. Take this. It's not over. Come to the skull. Hurry. I can't hold them back alone. Need Why? To find a way forward. On the 
chest. Action, not Laser found the chest. Oh, that should more than suffice. Indeed. I need you now. Soon. Damn. At the distance. Uh. Oh no. Game. That's not good. <laughs> you got stuck. The skull. Come to the skull. Shut up! I have bigger problems like now. Believe me or not. Oh, everything is going to be out of sight. Wow. Wow. Fell through the ground. Seriously? Help me. Shut up. Don't care. Not nothing can get me out of here, huh? Indolence breeds madness. God damn it! Wow! <laughs> okay, we're doing this without laser. Swift is my I'm not going to me. lose my mind. Please help me. Whatever can get me pissed about the game is when I lose progress. Who needs laser anyway? It's not over. Come to the skull. Oh, Let's hope this. that laser gets teleported here or something. Why do you have to ruin something with a bug? Come on. Why can't you even fall through the ground? A laser is there in the cutscene, but... Who needs laser anyway, huh? For a Gitchenki specific uh, fight. Before you do anything, I am your ally. No. We are in danger. You're a gay scum. Flayer? The blazes is going on here. The Githyanki is the source of our protection against the absolute. You forgot to protect I must subdue him Lazo. or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my form deceive you. I am the one that's been protecting you. I don't care. I am the one that came to you in your dreams. Help me. Leave the Githyanki alone. You do not understand. He will attack anyone that reeks of Illithid. That includes you. And you will not even be able to defend yourself. If you kill him, the Absolute will enthrall you. I am not your enemy. Quick save. Enough. Die. I also killed Omelium, so... Do not... Be driven by fear. Trust me now, and I promise you will have all the answers you seek. Now, help me. Fool! Without me, you will perish. <laughs> Laser is in combat, but not here. Fuck's sake. Game, why can you put more autosaves in the game? Oh, so everyone is hostile again, like in campaign 2. This is going to be... Oh, fine. 
fine. resists all attempts to shatter it. You're hostile. Shut up. You can do whatever you want. I don't care. Now this is three versus everyone. Okay, we need to kill you first. Yeah, good job, Lazel. What am I supposed to do with you, huh? Oh, even these guys are hostile. Lovely. Hide. Good luck finding me. God damn. Well, if I TPK, I th then at least I can reload everything. game, Larian, why is there a cape like this on an NPC and why can't we get one like that? I destroy you first. Yeah, you are helpful. Hit everyone. Yeah. But it also hit Halsen. Not sure. What happened? Gil was stunned. Wow. Why? Hitting me. Nope. Halson. Care. Oh fuck. No. It was bound to happen. That's not good. Up. Using potion. All right. Well, if you can use potion, I can also use potion. Gonna do that again. Fine. Hmm. Oh, 
still saved. Okay. No. Leave me alone. Just the two of us. Holy fuck. Some healing for a wizard in need. Seriously, you just had to do that? Oh wait. I'm a healer. Happened. Quickly. Chain lightning, I s no. do I want to do this? Why do I lose my turn? Every time we attack Emperor we get stunned or every time we accidentally hit these we get stunned. We cannot do this with laser. Hurry, the guard must fall. Then attack the guard. See? Maybe I will. Quick save. Maybe some gale. Stunned again. The game really wants you to side with the Emperor. I guess this is a game over if we kill the Emperor. Don't go away. Such a beach move. Step by step. <laughs> so I can deal enough damage. Just, you're just not in range. Oh. Okay. Screw you. One day I'll catch a break.
Nope. Not cool. Stop it. Ah, it's killing the Kitianke. No special scenes for us. Your reluctance to help nearly cost us everything. You saw reason just in time. No, I didn't. You saw Don't reason. Don't look at me like that. I'm a mind flayer, yes. And the one who saved you again. It's obscene. To owe my life to a damned geek. No more lies. No more tricks. I will have answers. I prefer... no, tell me everything. It's like I said before. I'm just like you. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate. Though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of Mind Slayers who caught me. Changed me into what I am now. For years, I served the Elder Brain. The one you Oh boy, this is a long episode. Holy shit, I just alt tapped to check my recording. I was a thrall like any other. Hour, 42 minutes. But I was fortunate. Ooh. I broke free and started a new life in my own well, city. Well, I guess I'm ending this the next time there's a chance. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me while I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stelmane. We formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued The name was intended as a slight, to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Yeah, this is where I'm going to end this episode, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care and have a lovely, wonderful day or night. Cheers. Save the game.